I got a cousin asked for a angler fish and I had uh, some plasma cutting had my wife's uncle cut three of those that over there is the fire heat exchanger for my waste oil furnace I'm building uh, I don't remember if I started the video on this or not I may have but anyways I used the caps this is the top out of that let's see if I've got another one on here I thought I had a third one up here somewhere uh, here's the pieces that come out of the, the small hose for the pipe yeah what to do with it oh here we go here's the other piece out of the air tank I'll make something with it probably a symbol or something I don't know anyways a pile of junk here uh, I took my hammer and my makeshift anvil just a five inch piece of solid about a foot a little over a foot long 14 inches I think weighs about 90 pounds 80 pounds 90 pounds somewhere now. I don't know it's heavy but uh I formed these into this shape here and the body's going to stand up like this of course I gotta make the tail and the fins and I gotta do the mouth uh, I gotta cut it kind of it's hard to do but kind of down like that and then make its jaw well I'll cut it to about right there and I'll cut it and I'll make its jaw look like its bottom jaw look like it's getting ready to eat and I think when I make the light antenna the thing that goes from the dorsal fin on the back I think I'm gonna make a small fish type thing to put there we'll see how that goes but uh yeah, here's the start of my, I gotta fill that in with something, but here's the start of my angler fish. Progress on the fish. See, I cut its mouth out, and their bottom jaw is what closes, so. I just cut, well, you can see how I cut. Then I took a piece of steel and put it there, welded it in. I've got one cut to go there and that hole there I'll cover it up with something maybe a fin go there I don't know if I can find a light little LED that'll work off a battery I'd uh, run a light actual light but I don't know if I can I maybe can I don't know but uh once I get all these welded in, I'll do more update. When you're welding thin metals, you're going to, if you're anything like me, you're going to blow holes through it and you got to fill them in. I use flux core wire, which is why the flux looks all nasty. Uh, I'm not a great welder. I'm learning, getting better, but I'm a wicked good grinder and I own a lot of grinders, so <clears throat> that helps. And... As far as metal art goes, your rendition of an of a character or item or whatever is your rendition. If you want to make it cartoonish, make it cartoonish. If you want to make it realistic, make it realistic. Uh, if you're making it for a customer or a client, you got to make it, you know, to suit them as well as yourself but that's my take on it uh, it's late I'm done for the night this will probably be a two or three day project because I tinker here and there but uh, more to come alright working on this fish again uh, the welds inside the mouth are hideous but I got a a plan for that 
um, it's it's hard to reach in there. I don't have a TIG machine yet. Plan on getting one and learning it, but I don't have one yet. But anyways, they're all stuck. Uh, if anybody's got any pointers on, I probably should have just cut the lower jaw off, weld it back on, put all the teeth in. That way I could make the welds prettier, but it's not going to be pretty. But I did weld the fish to the table to make it stationary if you will so that I could uh, get all the teeth spotted in there I, I do intend on um, cleaning that up in there a little bit but I've got a plan ish to make that look a little better we'll see may just clean the spatter out paint it real thick <laughs> grinders and paint but anyways yep progress we get ready to start on the rest of the teeth I got to put one or two more in there and then there I use the shorter ones for that using screwdriver bits and I did figure out the uh, how the angler fish have the little light I did figure out what kind of bait would attract a grown man. Any kind of mechanical person. See if you guys can see this. Ta-da! Crescent brand. I don't know if it's made in the USA still or not, but it is 10 millimeter. But yeah, that'll be the piece that hangs over the in front of the mouth like the light on the real fish. Alright, back on the fish today. Uh, I got that on there. Had to cut it off and re-weld it because I had it crooked. Well, not crooked, but off centered which it may still yet be I don't know it's not on there real good I need to get a spot or two here and there afraid it might break off in shipping but I get that on there I got the tail on I don't know if I showed that in the last clip or not to hold this up I just well I said that get ready to do the eyes which I think I'm just gonna cut the heads off of some carriage bolts weld them on there maybe uh, the fins here is what's going to hold it up the pectoral fins I'm going to put them right about there come out I don't know inch or so down like that and then the, I hammered a dorsal fin which by hammered, I mean I just give it some texture wherever it went. I don't know, I've lost it. There it is. Still hooked in the vice grips, which I don't know how that's gonna look. You can see there, I just hammered that just to give it some texture. Hopefully in the just to give it texture. Which I'll file any sharp edges down. That'll it still yet got to get cut, because I think that comes up in the middle of the, not in the middle, but in part of the fin. It is on my fish. I'm gonna cut it right there, weld that up in that corner, up in there, and then spot this to this on both sides. Then I'll cut it right along there somewhere to give it that dorsal fin look, I guess. I don't know. It's metal art or any kind of art when you're making something like this. You know, this is an angler fish, but it's my interpretation 
or uh, as the artist, this is this is what I see. Had a bunch of junk laying around. I thought, hmm, my cousin asked for one, so that's what I'm doing. All right, I'm not grabbing that thing with my hand because it's hot. I just welded the pectoral fins. I'll grab it up here on this antennae or the bait. I've still got some cleanup in the mouth to do, but uh, I, I kind of like it. I gotta fill that in yet, put the eyes on, which I said I was gonna do the eyes, but I changed direction. I found the piece to make that, those with. I gotta knock the spatter off and all that yet, but I think I like it so far. The texture on the fins. There's a little texture on the body where I hammered it into shape, but and this the fins here I just used a hatchet to chop it so give it a little more crisp line I should have done it on that but I didn't anyways I should finish it tomorrow wife's home so I'm gonna go in spend some time with her we might go for a walk I don't know. but there it is so far yep I think I'm done with the welding. I'm gonna probably stuff it full of newspaper and then permatex it with some red or something. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I might. I gotta. I'm gonna torch it and darken the steel and then I'm gonna highlight it with sandpaper. I think he wants it clear coated. There's the light that makes most most guys go crazy at 10 millimeter socket uh, that's about as tool themed as I could get it without going a different direction so but there it is I'll do another short clip filled that hole I'll do another the short clip uh, once I've got it cleared and stuff, which probably be here to, here in a little while, I clean my table off a little bit before I clear it. Yep. Well, here it is. Uh, I decided not to fill the mouth in. It just it is what it is. There's spatter in there that I can't really get to, but did the eyes with nuts. I filled that hole in with a carriage bolt head left the carriage bolt on the inside I need to clean the clear off of the socket but it it's cleared with some high sheen clear and it highlighted the darkened spots and but yeah there it is hopefully he likes it I think he will he says it's gnarly looking so yeah but that's a done project all right thanks for watching yeah hold on thanks for watching sorry it took so long god bless y'all have a good